everybody, we are back here with some more universe mode here in WWE 2K17 and we are getting weeks and days closer to the release of WWE 2K18. But for right now, we have a good show for you guys planned out with Friday Night Fury here from Tampa, Florida and we're going to get right on into the action. And to start things off with the new number one contender for the million dollar championship in Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, we're going to see what he has to say All right this is gonna be another the third challenger I believe now for Dusty Rhodes title but we're gonna again get into what he's about to tell us dusty 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 every challenger before me has failed facing you for that million dollar championship but this time around at the next takeover pay-per-view things will change there will be a new million dollar champion and his name will be Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. One thing that these other contenders did not do in their attempts at your title was suggesting and adding a stipulation to the title match. That's why I'm out here this evening, Dusty. At the next takeover, it will be a last man standing match between you and I. Whether you like it or not, it was approved earlier today when I met with WWE officials backstage. So last man standing match, you and me at the next takeover. Oh gosh, okay, so the dragon doing something no one's done before so far is to add a stipulation to the title match against Dusty Rhodes, but we're going to see how that goes. We still have a couple weeks until the next TakeOver pay-per-view, but again, we're going to see how this goes next time. Last man standing match, though, for the Million Dollar Championship between Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Dusty Rhodes. We're going to get on to the rest of the show now, though. Back to Friday Night Fury, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to get into our main event now. And this will be a fatal four-way matchup to determine a number one contender for Christian's lightweight championship. Already in the ring is Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels. And if you guys remember at TakeOver Retribution, HPK fell a bit short in, the, in his title opportunity. So we're going to give him another shot here in a fatal four-way match. He's going to have to get through this man right here, Tatsumi Fujinami, and to other competitors and we're gonna see who they are here right about now but again before i forget if you guys in, are enjoying this episode so far leave a like comment share subscribe and all that fun stuff and i'll be repeating that at the end of the video but fujinami is in the ring and next out will be uh brian pillman i forgot he has several nicknames here i was gonna attempt to say one of them but i forgot so brian pillman one of the most extreme and for lack of a better term crazy competitors that we've seen here in universe mode and in the wwe in general over the years all right so that's three of the four men here in this main event and we'll see who the last one is all righty let's see and it looks like it's going to be latino heat eddie guerrero he missed out he almost became number one contender for the million dollar championship last episode fell a bit short and he actually tapped out to the sleeper hold from Ricky the Dragon Steamboat so we're gonna give Guerrero another shot at a championship here on Fury because he's as is everybody else very deserving and we're gonna see how things pan out here in Fury in the coming weeks so Eddie Guerrero is the fourth participant in this fatal four-way Right, winner will be the new number one contender for Christian's lightweight championship and they will have a title match against Christian at the next takeover pay-per-view which we're going to start building towards now Eddie smart move just leaving the ring right off the bat as Fujinami and Brian Pullman go at it Eddie Guerrero takes out chair and hits HBK right in the shoulder with it Right, springboard moonsault from Pillman onto Fujinami. Guerrero thrown into the barricades, or the metal barricades, that is. Pillman in control inside the ring. HPK in control outside of the ring. Fujinami with the clothesline. Pillman spills out in front of the announce table. 
Drawbreaker reversal from Eddie. And an atomic drop from Michaels. Big chop of action going on outside the ring here. And a knee drop from Michaels now. Fujinami turning his attention to the heartbreak kid. Thrown into the barricades once again. Right, Pillman being hit in the leg from Fujinami. Guerrero wrenching on the arm. Lots and lots to keep track of here. Crucifix suplex from Shawn Michaels. Pillman turning his attention to Guerrero now. Elbows. Elbow shots to the top of the head. Fujinami thrown back into the ring. Pillman gets back in as well. It's right back out, not sure why, but HBK out onto the apron. Thrown back in by Fujinami. Guerrero finally back up to his feet, big reversal. DDT on the outside, geez. Fujinami out onto the apron now. HBK with a vertical suplex back in, right in the center of the ring. And Guerrero throwing, or dragging Pillman to the barricade. Is he going to go for here? Some right hands. Fujinami job breaker reversal. Picks up the heartbreak kid. Hurricane Rana from Pillman on the outside. BK with the reversal. This is a lot to keep track of. And falling pile driver from Shawn Michaels. Going up top. Probably going for the diving elbow. And he hits it. This could be it already. Going on for the cover. Pillman in to break it up for the count of one. Guerrero knocked out cold on the outside. Pillman. Smart move to get back in. Break it up. Take control. Chop right to the chest. Guerrero runs back into the ring. HPK rolls back out. Fujinami throws Pillman outside. Again, this is a number one contendership matchup for the lightweight championship. Northern Lights suplex from Fujinami on the outside. I think Guerrero's leg might have hit the barricade. HBK to one knee, trying to get up. Elbow to the top of the head from Pillman. Right earlier in the evening, we heard from the new number one contender for Dusty Rhodes Championship in Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Adds stipulation to their title match at TakeOver, and that will be a last man standing match. We're going to see how that goes. Right, Fujinami with some stomps to Pillman. Guerrero going up top, going right after the arm. Fujinami driven into the ring post. Second time, springboard sent on from Guerrero and some more stomps to the leg of HBK. We are going to take a commercial break here before returning back to our main event. It's the main event here on Friday Night Fury and we have a lot of things happening in the middle of the ring. Sweet chin music to Guerrero from HBK. Springboard clothesline from Pillman. Bodies everywhere. Pillman and Michaels are the only two standing in the ring. Seemingly both shaking their heads at each other. Both, either of them could go for a pin, but they don't. In the end of the matchup, as Pillman gets thrown into the ropes, bumps into Guerrero, Fujinami stole down. Guerrero taking this opportunity to go for a pin. One, two, and Fujinami kicks out. A lot of time wasted there, and Missile drop kick sidestep from HBK. Pillman rolls out of the ring. Fujinami gets back in. So does HBK. Guerrero does as well. Fujinami back into the ring now. Drop kick to the knee. Back drop suplex from Michaels. Fujinami rolling out now. And backbreaker to Guerrero. HPK going up top, wanting to become number one contender for the lightweight championship once again. Going for another elbow drop from the top rope. Pillman gets inside the ring though, gets hit with a chop. 
HPK's attention is to ow oh, and a sweet chin music from Shawn Michaels. Guerrero stirring Fujinami back in cover one. Fujinami just in the nick of time breaking that up. HPK had the win there, is pretty sure. Butterfly suplex from Fujinami. Springboard moonsault from HBK. Guerrero rolling outside of the ring once again. Fujinami going for full Nelson maneuver. Looks like HBK shot to the face. To a German suplex. Guerrero stirring on the outside. HBK outside of the ring now. Fujinami the only one standing at the moment. Hillman rolls out of the way. Big clothesline. Fujinami rolls out of the way. Own there. And a suplex. Going up. Top. Guerrero gets back in. HBK does as well. Double drop of his own from the top rope. Fujinami with the reversal to an inverted DDT. Arm drag from Pillman. Fujinami throws Guerrero out of the ring. Most of this matchup has been spent outside of the ring some moment. Fujinami gut wrench. Suplex it looks like. Just throws him right down the bot base of the ramp. HBK into the corner. Pillman second rope, Hurricane DDT planting HPK in the middle of the ring. Going up top once again. Calling for HPK to get up. And reverse sweet chin music out of nowhere from Shawn Michaels. This might be it. He goes for the cover. The other two are outside of the ring. Preoccupied. Stomp to the back. HBK could have ended this matchup. Second rope, double elbow drop. Pillman rolls out of the way. Backdrop suplex from Pillman. HBK had some missed opportunities that could have cost him this matchup. Guerrero stomp right to the face of Fujinami and a drop kick misses. Guerrero reversal of his own there. Pillman and HBK are up top. It's not going to end well for someone. Superplex from Shawn Michaels. Going for the cover. Middle of the ring. One, two, three. And that's it. HBK remains number one contender for the lightweight championship here this evening. And we'll get another shot at Christian at the next takeover. It's a crazy matchup. HBK had some missed opportunities early on, but capitalized at the end. All right, as we see the replay here, pins him off the superplex. All right, we're going to wrap things up here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we will see everybody next time. <laughs>